We busted out. Home. Oh, wait. We can't go to my house. We have to go get the prescriptions first. Yes. CVS, here we come. So I'm home. I went to go pick up my prescription for the pain medication, and it's the wrong one. Um, so I have to follow up with my doctor on Thursday to get um, the proper prescription. The doctor that I'm following up with only has office hours on Thursdays. So I'm going to see if this lesser dose of a pain medication will just keep me okay until Thursday. So I'm going to go hop in the first shower that I've taken since Friday. And then I'm going to tell you about the plans I have for recovery. I'm all sparkly clean and I have my night mask on. I took a nap. I popped a painkiller and I really want to share with you uh, my plans for recovery. So right now I'm working on the diet plan which is going to be a bit different than if I was um, competing in the 250k challenge. It's not going to be so high protein and I'm not going to eat so many animal products. Instead, I'm going to give my organs and my digestive system a bit of a rest by not consuming meats. Meats stay in your digestive system for 24 to 48 hours, causing it to constantly be working. So I want my body's energy to be focused more on healing of my bones and um, the muscles around my bones. So I'm going to consume my protein in the form of plant-based proteins, mostly hemp. The foods I'm going to be eating are going to be nutrient rich in calcium, magnesium, zinc, vitamin C, and vitamin D. You need to have a bunch of magnesium to absorb all of the calcium. I'm going to be choosing foods that are easily digested. Um, I'm going to try to be juicing a lot of them. And I'm also going to be incorporating essential oil um, applications topically where the bones are broken. If anybody knows anything about vibration platforms, I've been reading about them. It looks like a scale. You stand on it. It sends vibrations through your body, which increases blood circulation. Um, I would really love to hear the feedback that you have on that because I don't know anything. So my good friend Lauren, who is in a doTERRA essential oils rep, um, made me these two rollers for inflammation and broken bones. Hi! There's a couple more that I want to get, um, but I'm so thankful to be starting with these, and I'll let you know how they work out. The pain meds that they have given me are nothing compared to what I was receiving in the hospital and they're actually not even as powerful as I should have at home. I have to, I have to wait till I have the follow-up with my um, primary physician tomorrow to get proper pain medication. So with that being said, I have my sleep has not been good. I'm waking up every two to three hours in pain um, and having to switch my positions and it has given me a stiff neck. But the reason why I'm telling you this is because I rubbed this right on the area that was giving me pain right here and instantly I had relief. Instantly. So I'm using this in the areas that are giving me, I can feel topical pain, kind of like soreness, my, where my chest plate is cracked, down my side, between my shoulder blades, and it's working. It's a blend of peppermint. It's a blend of peppermint and eucalyptus in coconut oil that my friend Lauren uh, made for me from her doTERRA oils, and I'm very thankful for it. The reason for this salt water flush is because <clears throat> when they did the CAT scan on my abdomen, they saw some backup in my intestines. 
and I haven't properly gone since the accident. I think that I'm afraid of pushing, to be quite honest, but I have to do it. It has to be done.